Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome back to Art on the Floor. This week I'm inspired by the work of Julian and Maria Martinez. They are renowned ceramicists, most notably known for their black on black pottery. Maria would form the vessels and Julian would paint them. They remix tradition to experiment and make their very own style. We're going to take our cue from them and remix traditional clay working. We're not going to be using clay, but we're going to be using newspaper and applying clay techniques to it to create our own pot. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Let's get started. The supplies you will need for part one are school glue, newspaper, and a skewer. Okay, let's make our coiled pot. To do this, you would need to get a stack of newspaper the same size. I'm using one half, and then I'm going to take one sheet, wrap the corner around my skewer, and slowly roll it. I don't want my skewer to get stuck in the middle, so I pull it out halfway through the roll. When I get to the end of my roll, I make sure that I put a little bit of glue on the corner just so that the coil will stay intact. After you have your coil rolled out, I like to flatten it because it makes it easier when we go to shape the pot. You want your rolls to be approximately the same thickness and the same length to be uniform so that your pot isn't off-centered. Once you have all your rolls or your coils, you can start to shape your pot. You are essentially going to wrap the roll around itself and it's going to spiral outwards. Every couple of layers, you want to add a little dab of glue. You don't want to have too much glue because we're going to roll our pot flat first and after we are done, then we are going to form it into a bowl. If we have too much glue, the sides won't shift at all, so we'll end up with a coaster instead of a bowl. To add another layer when you run out of roll, you simply just take the edge of one and slide it over the edge of your existing roll and continue to wrap the next layer around your pot. When you're done, glue the very edge of your coil to the rest of the pot. For part two, you will need paper mache made of equal parts water, flour, and a sprinkle of salt, and your coils made from part one, and some ripped pieces of newspaper. Now it's time to form our pot. Gently shape your pot into a bowl. Don't be too worried about the stability of it. We are going to paper mache the outside of our pot to give it extra support and also make it nice and smooth to paint. We're gonna leave the inside with the layers because that's actually how coil pots were made. They would smooth the outside and then add decorative to it while the inside maintained its really cool ridges. After you have your pot now in a pot form, in a pot shape, you're going to make some paper mache, which is equal parts flour to water with a sprinkle of salt. Then you're going to take some strips of newspaper, dunk it in the mixture so that it is covered on both sides, and you're going to cover the very outside of your pot, making sure it's nice and smooth. Once it is entirely covered, you're going to just take a wet piece of paper towel and wipe off the excess paper mache mixture. Be careful that you don't tear your newspaper and make any extra bumps. You want to make sure our outside of the pot is as smooth as possible. Let it dry overnight and then we will start step three. For part three, which is optional, you will need acrylic paint and a paintbrush. Once your pot is dry, you are now going to take some acrylic paint I'm going to use black in homage to the original artist 
and you're going to paint the outside. I want to leave my inside plain and not painted just because I think it's cool that it's made out of newspaper. I'm also not the best artist, so I'm just going to make mine plainly black, but if you want to go ahead and add a really cool design, go for it. Props to you for being creative and expressing yourself. Let the paint dry and then enjoy your pot. Thanks for following along and thanks for all your kind words on social media. We hope you enjoy this series. Share it with your friends and family. Make some art with them. Make sure you tag us on Facebook or Instagram at Newark Museum Art or hashtag us. Hashtag NMOA, hashtag NMOA at home, hashtag museum from home, hashtag art on the floor. I'm Kirsten. See you guys next time.